Well, a very good morning to you. And the gorgeousness continues because we're here with Miss P and me, Fee. Good morning, my Hello, darling. Hello, Fee. How are you? I'm very well. Now, you've not left me with an awful lot, have you? Because it was <laughs> such a sellout success last it's night. All right. It's all right. Well, thank you ever so much to everybody who has uh, persisted and bought it. Uh, it means the world to me. It, all the comments on social media, I haven't read them all, but thank you so much. It means the world to me. And it is absolutely hitting the mark. It is amazingly popular. It is the Miss P Complete Collection and is a journal accessories and journal hinge collection comprising of 66 dies in total. Now, I'm not sure how many of the Complete Collection I've got left, but I would urge you, urge you, urge you. And poor Kay, who's in the studio, couldn't even get this last night. We are very limited and we've got that on three flexi by payments of £23.38 for the Complete Collection. So uh, please don't miss out. So I'm going to hold up the dies while um, Paola explains. Would that be the best way to do it, Paola? Uh, yeah, absolutely. So uh, you can see there, or uh, you can see the main page die, and then on the right-hand side, the hinge. Now, if uh, we come to me, we, over, uh, the overhead, you will see, this is the die cast that we have, the page that has already this spine. I didn't want it a movable spine because I wanted to go through the die cutting machine and have already you know, the die cut. So you can see I die cut this, this is what it, it has. So I have done a couple of pages in here. They have been designed so you can alternate and create different angles. That's not as easy as it sounds to design that uh, because it's kind of a complicated process. And then what we have is the hinge in here. You can see there that is the hinge. And then we have got an extender, which I'll explain in a second what it is for, but that's not essential per se. So page, a uh, hinge and then this is very important the locking case which you have got two of them so you can see here that one and you have got a proper kind of key design in here as well so you have those you then what you do is you can have uh, you, you could even have just one page but of course the more the mesh and then you put the hinge you can see here fold it in here Fold. either it's an M for mat or um, you know Marcus let's do the, the or a W like for something like Winston or something like this and place it there and then can you see that fold and then place it here and that locks it. That's how simple it is. Hence the boundless. Now I'm so sorry to interrupt because that was like a speedy explanation. We <laughs> will take our time going through them. But I just want to highlight the complete collection which comprises of the boundless journal and uh, the boundless journal pages plus the accessory die pack which I'm holding up now has now sold out 194352 if you've got it in your basket please check out i will inform anybody if any bounce back but well done to you because uh, we didn't even think we'd start the morning with any um what's amazing though is we still got the one day special so i'm going to ask my lovely miss p miss paula uh to continue her fabulous explanation because we've also got the page panels as well and i've got so many i mean this was in the um the final display uh, that we just had at the start so many gorgeous examples of the wax so there there's our beautiful hinge disguised underneath if I show you the lock and key you can see it there in the middle and that just slides out but what it does do is allow us to add pages and to take away those pages but I am going to go back to Paula so she can continue her explanation because this is the one day special that we have got um, plenty of still even though loads of stock has gone so uh, let's go back to Paula. Right so thank you Fee. So basically the idea is as I'm kind of going to go through again just because I wanted to make sure that everybody gets it. So the hinge when it comes out of the die it comes completely uh, cuts the lines and scores them down the middle. Fold it inwards, fold it outwards that way, right? And that creates, like I was saying, an M or a W, depending how you want to look at it. And then this is what then this little bit in here protrudes and fits in here. And there. And then, for instance, here I have fabric. Now, this one is packing with paper. If you didn't want it, so for instance, Derek was saying it would be a, make a lovely sampler for a different, um, you know, fabrics or something yeah. like this. What you do is you, I put a stabilizer or I make my own, spray, uh, spray adhesive onto paper, then put the pa fabric and then die cut it. Oh. You may have one or two fibers. Now, you can see that you can put the pages like this or you can rotate them like that. Oh. And that will create 
different angles. But when we close it, you can see all those different lines. Ah. That's that's one of the reasons the size is as it is. You need an A4 die cutting machine because I tried to reduce it to for an A5, right. but then it was too small right. or too, you know, it, the angles had to be in such a way that they weren't mm. working as well. You can put as many pages as you kind of like. Uh, obviously, there is an, an element of how many, you know, they will look good because some of them, if you wanted to have a more one that kind of fill, falls flat, then you need less pages. But you can see in here how I have that. Now you can see here that kind of doesn't quite like it, but don't you worry. I have put a, doesn't, it's quite thick. I have put an extra scoring line, so mm -hmm. that will give you a little bit bigger spine. Ah. So if I take this one that I have done earlier, not only I have done that on the spine, uh, on the hinge, but also on the spine here. So if I put it here vertically, can you see how there is, this one is bigger, then there's a smaller one, and then there is the folder one here. You can see there. Yes. Yeah. So that gives you that thicker spine. You can choose, and of course that means that you can put more pages in here and do also join them together. How do we join them together if we have got two albums? Well, uh, Dee was saying that, uh, she messaged me, you could put glue here and glue here if you wanted to. That mm -hmm. would be fine, absolutely fine. But you have also an extender. And the extender is this die here that I mentioned it. So that you can then glue it to the inside it and put it in here and here and the slots in here. This one you need glue. Oh. And that adds a little bit more rigidity, but also creates that element in here that then you can write something and create a much bigger album with all the different wow. pages in here. Paula, you, can I ask, is that kind of what you did for this sample that I've got here, darling, with because these beautiful... Yeah, um, that, that's a very good point. That was done by, uh, uh, by Art Angel. Uh, by the way, I want to thank everybody in the design team, Art Angel, Sheila and Leslie, as well as Julie Hickey, and of course, John Lockwood and uh, Sam, who have made uh, the samples as well as myself. Uh, so here, that's the other thing. You can use it the other way around. So see how we have done the M, you know, going inwards. You can do it outwards. So you can have it like this, right? Yeah. And then oh, you can put the key on the outside, right? But you can also put the chapsticks. Yes. You could put a pen. That's what I was thinking, yes. Yeah, you yeah. can put a pen as well. Oh. Oh, uh, it could be, fantastic. you could, if you want to secure it, you can put glue it, you can always glue it if you want it to, if you don't want it to come unbound. So for instance, you could add, glue the key here and then put a pen where I have a pen or a pencil. So you could have here. It's done, actually. I did, this was one of the things that I actually did think that it had to be big enough yeah, for a pencil. Great so then you have the whole hole in there. So Absolutely then you can... Fantastic. And the, the great way is that you can undo it anytime unless... There is one way, is, for instance, here is one that I did yesterday. Mm -hmm. You can, for instance, you're thinking, oh, I love this idea. And this is an arrow from the geometrics, um, the arrows, the hearts and arrow. You want to put one of the pages, for instance, here, I have this one. So if I wanted to glue an element into the air, you can, and it creates a flap. But then, of course, you will not be able to unbound it. Right, yes. OK, so if you glue it, which you can, it's just that that's the only limitation. Yes. But then, can I show a couple of samples? Then you can put on the, on the flap, you can glue elements. So then you kind of hide it. Here. Oh. Then you can do it with acetate as That's well. Lovely, Paolo. Now, certain, ac thank you, certain acetates will die cut easily on, on than others. What John says is that it works really well. It's put an acetate over a watercolor card, okay. and it, then it does cut very well. Uh, just try, uh, with me, with, with these ones, um, three of them cut, die cut beautifully, and one of them I just had to go with scissors, uh, just a couple of points. To have a point. So, yeah, that's yeah. a... Uh, here, with the, hin the hinge, I have done like this. If you put it like this, you can see it, like cut this, and then use the mat to create more of an ethereal kind of flap in here, so you can see. And this is one of the geo flowers that we have. Mm. And then you can see how the pages and the mats 
are kind of working all together. So you can have all those pages. But then there is other things. So this is exactly the same dice as this one. Wow. And this is using Tracy Hay beautiful alpaca panels designs. So here I have used the mats and I have attached them between the hinge. Yeah. So it creates, this is the hinge as well. So you can Leave see that. here. So you can just use it as a tab. Then you have yeah. all, it's a coloring book that you oh, can take it away, uh, color in if oh you wanted yes. to, then put it back. And then when it's full, you can just create new ones. Absolutely. Oh, and then brilliant. you can add more and more pages and then oh. you can always bind them together with that's the hint. Fantastic. Then another one I want to show you. I think this one is Leslie or Sheila. I'm not sure. Sorry, apologies. So whether this one, you can see I'm alternating the different angles. This one has been done all the pages the same, oh, yeah. which I really love because it's then suddenly Beautiful. is very different as well. So you can see that as well. Then I want to show you this other sample. Sorry, I'm going through the, but no, no, this it's is good important. To, it just shows you all the versatility of the dyes, Paula. It's great to because see. Because this is by oh. Art Angel. Now that is very different, isn't it? Because That's that, huge. Yeah. that is using the dye oh, like yeah. this and then done it like this and then join it together. And then of course, the, uh, Sheila has used the hinge in, the, in here. Can you see it? How it's just so clever. That's it's just brilliant. absolutely clever. And then the same in here. I think this is genius. Uh, there is so many ways and ideas. There is also a way of doing it with a uh, easel card as well. So there is so, oh, and also, this is with magnets. I need to glue it properly. Ooh, we've got magnets on the show, but, haven't we? Paul? You know, yeah. the other thing is, if you have a scrap pieces of paper, so say for instance, I, you know, let's say you have this piece in there, you can still use it because how it is, it's just, it creates that element. Oh yeah. So yes. it doesn't matter that it's not perfect. In fact, no. it kind of adds more to it. So Layers. you can have all those bits. Those leftovers from Graphic 45, or this one is one of my friends, Spanish friends, Alberto Juarez, uh, beautiful papers. You can use them and create something different. Brilliant, and do you know what, I love this. It's maybe just the door, but look at that out of the die. Isn't that just fantastic? And huge congrats to all the design teams. I just thought that was brilliant. And I love this little book, which is just the hinge. That's just the hinge shape. So it's great to see there's so many fantastic samples here on the desk. And then you've got all the beautiful dies as well uh, that Paula's made some cards out of that are in the set. So we mustn't forget those because um, they look equally as beautiful whether you're putting them into the boundless book or, or making some stunning cards out of them. Um, it's, it's just absolutely fantastic. You can have a really good play with all of the all of the variety there. So you're not just getting the boundless book and the boundless, you've got the dies there for your boundless pages there as well. So there are those little hexagons as well that we just saw on that pretty card of Paula's. Um, and there is the the frame there that Paula was using, your hinge there, and those keys as well. Um, you're getting all of those dies for £35.98. So many fantastic samples here. Saving four pounds. We're going to, you know, try and look as many, you know, uh, designs with our Paola so you fully understand the, 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 the incredible variety that is incorporated in these 21 dies. 100613 and over 40% of the stock has gone. I'm destroying beautiful displays because there's just so many fantastic samples every which way I look. Now we've had uh, so many uh, sellouts as well, but I have got a couple of individuals left to flag up for you. So the geo flowers that Paula just mentioned, we've got those available as well. Uh, you've got 13 dyes in there, and these are 9 99 So if I just, um, if I just, if I just, it's this section here, sorry. So that section there, we just, I don't want to show you what you could, you could have had. There we go. So we still got the beautiful geo flowers uh, there as well. And are we still got the botanicals? Oh, I can give you a sneaky peek there. We still got these beautiful botanicals as well. So don't miss out on those because they are available as well. 9.99, you get 11 dies there. 3.8710. Eight. absolutely stunning I'll mention a couple of others on the counter um, we've got the what do we 
the dye sprays yes yeah, sorry moving along to uh, the new configuration for these the Seth Apter dye sprays yeah 391184 now this is your copper your honey your rouge and your lavender uh, 1999 391184 and uh, we'll be looking at those as well no doubt throughout the show so that's a new configuration there for your eye zinc that's your lovely so have I got uh, have I got the colours on here I wonder oh I've got a little colour stamp it's just finding the right one what colours did I have there I've just said them to myself haven't I Copper honey. I bet I haven't got those now, have I? Sorry, everybody. Paul and Marbella might be working with them at some point. Yeah. yeah. No, I haven't. There we go. Never mind, eh? Uh, <laughs> moving on. Uh, we've got my dark set now. And uh, this comprises of my lovely sea spray, my emerald, my tea, and my licorice as well. 032500. And then the flaming set, really pretty pinks there. The rose is there as well. This is a set of the three. So this is $14.99. You've got your flamingo, your wild rose, and your cassis 563437. And I do want to mention the magnets. Now, I've only got 10 on the desk, but you are getting 20. And look, I just want to show you this because this really made me giggle this morning because obviously they have the powerful opposites attract. <laughs> <laughs> it's just something that just make, yeah i know it just shows you how strong they are i'm just so that yeah just just like flying away just yeah um strong magnets there they're, they're great aren't they to use in your little insets and tabs and closing and your books uh fabulous so you're getting double that obviously you're getting 20 of those nine well, no 40 40 yeah, double there see the, them yeah. here if, if you want to see like can you 40. see they are here you, you are getting uh, you can see that you're getting four in each of them. Oh, thank you, Paola, because yeah. I, I didn't want to take the whole thing apart yeah. earlier. And they're so strong when they clip together, yeah, aren't they? And I love that they come like this because yes. they are so much easier to keep them. And for storage. So that's why you've got 40 there. Thank you, Paola. 773-255-999. Don't miss out on that. That's a great deal for the magnets. Um, we've also got the John Next Store fantastic desk vacuums. I know they're great when you've done your die cutting as well. Got the choice of the blue or the pink there. Got all the lovely glues. Um, your, your stamping platform there as well, Crafts 2, and uh, your storage case. So it's all there on the website. But we're very keen to get back to our lovely Miss P and see these fantastic new concept dies in action. Over right. to you, darling. So I thought I would do a pretty album now, or a pretty um, boundless journal, actually. Uh, but, you know, just using, uh, just having ready for my, uh, you know, these pictures of my niece. Uh, so I have got permission to use her picture. Um, she's she's like her I am my sister her mom she's just like yeah you can use them yeah you can use them I'm like um, and, and and by the way yesterday on lunch she was watching with my parents so she's the same my niece is staying with my parents and she was like Auntie Paula is quite nervous isn't she today and oh. I'm like, mm. well you had so much invested in it Paula because we must not yes. forget you said this is two and a half years in, in the, making, the making yeah from because to this point absolutely we forget about that don't we because you, you you go through so many different rigorous tests and what's right and what's wrong and back Absolutely. and forth. Absolutely, so, right. So we can see here that I cast cut and scored. I'm using papers that I have had for ages. This is a perfect opportunity to die cut your beautiful pages that you have. And then of course you have the elements in here. I have got my spine that I have gone ahead and die cut here as well. Remember to, this one is the in the outside, so I'm going to put it going inwards. And because it's going to be a quite thick one, remember, you can fold it like this, and that will create a little bit of, of a thicker spine. And then fold it like this, and then like that. It scores every line, and then like this. Yes, these papers are beautiful if you're looking at them. They are my mind's eye. They are about... <laughs> five, six years old. Now, I'm uh, just gonna put the pages in here. Now, if you can see that it has cracked, that's the paper, not the die. So kind of, you can, uh, you know, do things to it if you wanted to. But there I have, kind of like it like this or alternating it like that. I have put the vellum in here, haven't I? And then I have my key. What I have done is I cut it twice, once with the right size and one the, the other side. And this is indeed based on a key. Uh, I kind of just look at one of my keys, uh, my old house, not my new house. So therefore, you wouldn't be able to open my new house with this key. Uh, 
but, uh, and then it will go all the way through and then just press it in and that is the album kind of created. And then, I mean, it just takes about literally 20 minutes or less than 20 minutes to create all this. Now, of course, we want to decorate it a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the one of the pages, uh, the insert pages, the panels in here. Now, I'm going to put two dice at the same time, which means that, of course, the machine is going to have to go extra, you know, heavy onto here. Now I'm going to put it through my die cutting machine. I want to not put as many cards in there. And then I'm going to put uh, the instant uh, frame, which it was in the complete collection. And I'm also using the paper clips, which I'm going to uh, explain the concept. Uh, when I was designing the lock-in um, key, I did the key first, the proper key. And then I thought, you know, I want something that is more like a hooks into it. So then I came up with this concept of, and I, I haven't seen it before, it's kind of created, inspired by paper clips it themselves, uh, the paper clips that are shaped. And so I came up with this element here. Can you see how it goes in? That, you know, kind of locks it. So mm -hmm. then I created these paper clips as well. So these paper clips, if I kind of show you here, they kind of go oh. in. And oh, they kind gorgeous. of create that element. So it's like kind of a paper clip. And you have the matching, if you wanted to, for instance, this one will fit. If you just wanted to put the top that is metallic, you can. It will fit perfectly over the top. Oh. And it will be also a paper clip. But it's also a way of, if you wanted to use a photo corner, you can glue that oh, yes. to the base and then use the same thing in here. To slip your little photos or so you can into. glue those bits onto the car and that will be really easy to do so i have got another one so if you go for i think this then gonna put it here now this this you kind of put it in here and then i'm gonna put I'm going to flag up Paola as well oh, while yeah. you're taking out yeah. your die bits there. The magnets are proven very popular because there's 40 in there. Paola explained as well, there's four in each of those little holes there. So there's your 20. There's another 20 there. And like Paola said, I, I, I love the little storage case for them as well. I was showing you just how powerful... Well, I can't do it now because I'm holding it. Um, <laughs> how the polar opposite, you know, the, the magnets, um, yeah, how strong they were. So 9 99 for 40, if you've got your little tabs, your clips, your your little add-ons that you, you conceal within your books and your journals. 773255, we're approaching 40% gone already. So that's an absolute billy bargain. Billy bargain. So we've had so many sellouts already last night and already this morning. Please, please don't miss out on your magnets. Sorry, back to you, Pam. No, that's all right. That's, uh, you, uh, right. So this is uh, the Daika. Look how gorgeous that is. And then, of course, oh, that lovely. will you can put it here. Now, it will be one way. So you make sure that you have it. Um, if you wanted to make sure that is that way, you need to make sure that you die cut it with the right side up. However, this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to create a page in here that you can then fertilize. So, or like this, right? So you have all the possibilities, or you can put it offset like that, yeah. because then you could then take the matching um, this one, which is kind of the matting and layering. And then we are going to put, so let's have this one, for instance, this paper that I have, which is absolutely from the same collection. And then you can say, well, I want it to go, oh, shall I go for dark? I like the dark. So I'm going to just put it in here, not randomly. I don't care. This is, this is the way that they are very liberating journals. This is about you experimenting, like if this is for you to just have a go and without having much care if you wanted to make it perfect there are some of them that have been done absolutely perfect and clean and crisp uh, vintage done it is absolutely you know up to you but you don't have to this is the freedom so then when you glue, look at that mm, i love that lovely look at that so you could then for instance in here you could maybe even glue it like this and then put this one you know, or say this one uh, glued 
to this side and then this one to this side. Ooh, yeah. So you have got like a flapping element in here. So many possibilities. I'm just, the other thing I would say with this journal is a very, I would say, the non-committal journal. Uh, so you have got all these possibilities of bringing elements. As long as you keep this open, this hinge open, you don't glue anything element, any, no elements into there, you don't have to commit to it. So mm. I'm going to keep it like that. I'm going to just be very non-committal. Um, just because uh, for this is going to be, the, you know, kind of just to demonstrate the possibilities of the Boundless Journal. It's lovely not to have that restrictiveness absolutely isn't it? now of course uh, you would if you are watching you're thinking Paula you're using wet glue on foil card that's gonna be not great I know I'm being very naughty at home I would probably use a spray adhesive so then it doesn't create it doesn't transfer but still it's fine I don't think you can see it but see this is kind of this is I like I like these elements coming in so you can see a little bit of the goldness mm. then if you have gone for the complete collection you will have gotten the um, geometrics the accessories yeah. as geometrics because it has this instant frame if you want to know the size of the pictures to make them a little bit bigger what you need to do is print your pictures for five by seven centimeters and that will fit perfectly with my top of my little Like an old Polaroid. Knees. Yeah, and then you have the element here, which again, you can bring her to here, or you can add, for instance, I kind of like the idea of putting a heart here. Mm, maybe that's a little bit too there. I don't know, maybe. Maybe this, this is the thing. This is when you kind of pick and choose. Oh, be happy there. And then you can glue there. There like this. Yeah, I like this idea. So I'm going to put glue here. Now, you can glue elements to the flap in there. I'm going to put it there. So kind of, you can add elements to the flap and you can still unbind and bind it, right? Remember that the important thing is once you glue elements to here, the inside, then it will not be able to put the things. I'm gonna put it here. Such there. a gorgeous photo. Oh, thank you. She's just gorgeous. This was absolutely a, beautiful. Yeah. She's just uh, full of character. She was nine last year, uh, uh, no, last Sunday, sorry. Aww. And it was like so nice. Then we can add elements here. So again, if you went to the paper clips, I kind of like the paper clip, for instance, in here. Add those elements. The paper clips are, I believe this one is on the... It's in the one-day special. In the one-day special, yeah. 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 But in the kind of uh, the panels, the hexagon, I think, comes in the... In the uh, yeah, the yes, hexagon the comes... It's in the... Yeah, they are the split pages. between yeah. the um, main element, uh, the main page and the... There, there it is, kind of, you have mm -hmm. got those elements in there. So you can see, now these arrows, you can bring them in as well, the closures, the locking elements. You can use them as decorations as well, mm. because then it kind of, I mean, obviously you glue them. So they are not just the locking elements. You have got then these. Then if you wanted to, there we have, I mean, you, of course you will put more pictures in here. You can put these other elements to the back. And then gonna go in there, hmm. then in there, and again we have these elements here that we can incorporate there as well. Now we also have, we still have got the uh, f um, the florals, uh, the geo florals, and the uh, yep. yes, and so, the botanicals we've still got. So let me grab them uh, here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a cut. I'm going to show you a couple of them because I think they are just, I love the botanicals. And funnily enough, I always say I cannot draw, but these ones I did draw. And I was like, oh my goodness, I can draw a little bit. I mean, they are not, but it's just a little bit of, again, you have the heart shape um, flowers in here. And this is something that uh, my first ever dye designs, uh, they are a very popular starter kit and they are still available. And I designed them exactly 10 years ago and still they are um, still manufactured to the, the, this day. 
I used petal uh, hearts. Uh, that one was an eight flowers, and I just kind of wanted to do a six petals because I love a six petal. Uh, and then kind of played it through here. That was one of our lovely guests making a little star appearance <laughs> yeah. there, everybody. Just saying hello. Very keen to get our next hour started. Yeah. Right. So, um, so we have here. That was. Uh, I love there. the way Paula just carried on regardless. I can't, you know, I, I was happened. oblivious. I was oblivious what was going on. Um, then we have this. Uh, you can see. And then we have that. So you can see there the kind of, the, I really like the, beautiful the way Paola. of using uh, as a mirror, mirror cards. And this is, of course, the botanicals. Now, on the botanicals also, let me grab it if I have it. We'll I hope I cut screen. it, but sometimes it's fine. So you have also the die that cuts this. So if you wanted to place it like this, you will have the solid as well. So that kind of gives you a little bit of elements. So then, then you can bring in elements like this. There. So for instance, in here, oh, I should have gone for the little ones. Do I have time to do, do you have anything to, oh, I do. Yeah. I, I'll tell you what I was doing. I just thought I'll show my botanicals on my board. I was just removing some that aren't available. Um, so these are the ones that Paola's just talking about. Absolutely gorgeous. 9 387 And we've also still got some of the geo flowers as well. Um, so if you, if you missed out, now we've had a lovely email. We'll get these up on the screen as well, the geo flowers, because uh, these complement the one day special beautifully, 376, 309. And these are all those stunning geo flowers there as well. Now, Angela says, good morning, Fiona, Paula and the crew. Well done, Paula, on a super concept. I missed yesterday's shows, so I was hastily trying to watch a rewind this morning. Um, I certainly be trying out these dies. They're so versatile and makes attaching pages so much easier so well said Angela and this is the one a day special that Paola is referring to and I've got I've got, I've got to show you this sample here it's it's a huge one uh, 35 pounds 98 you're getting 21 dies these are the ones and then you're also getting those beautiful I mean this is the geometric one there that Paola just used in the gold foil I'm going to show you there in this sort of the vintage book there isn't that gorgeous and I love the angularity of the pages and you know the different sort of trapezium shapes and the fact that you can you've got these paper clips and then you can make beautiful uh, cards out of these anyway but let me just show you the stonking sample I mean look with the hinge extender that Paul has created and uh, not just for putting in your pencils or your chopsticks how I mean the, the possibilities are endless look at this from the, from the team um, just gorgeous you know Paula said about the fabric using the stabilizer you can add that in there as well um, just it doesn't it just elevate your journals your card making to, to another level because it's just so 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 different I don't the tags in there as well I thought that was absolutely exquisite so that was a much much bigger one and as Angela said you can take in those um, pictures and pages and, and and don't forget you can you can make a, a really there's one with the geoflowers a really beautiful shaped card uh, aside just with the shapes of the dies there oh while i'm here i'll very quickly remind everybody of the magnets and we'll go straight back to our paula you're getting 40 of them yes thank you darling uh, so in each of my little cylinders there which i love the storage of you've got four deep so there's 20 in that little wee pack and 20 there. Now they're, they're flying out, great for your tabs, your, your closing on your books, your journals, your scrapbooking. Um, they're lovely when you disguise them there as well. We're over 50% gone now, Nine, over 60, sorry. Oh, it was 60%. 999 773 255. That is for 40 of them. And they're super strong. If you saw me earlier, they, they were, they were uh, um, rejecting each other. It's fantastic. Right, Paola, back to you, my darling. Right. Well, I'm just decorating. I just used the tiny ones while you were, uh, you know, because you have the, the larger ones and the smaller ones. So then you can just decorate it as you wish. Uh, so, for instance, in here, I might bring in these ones in there. So you can then bring in elements like this. You can, oh, I like this. That then, and then of course you can oh, bring this in there. So I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna put some glue in the back. Again, you know, I know I'm using mirror cards <laughs> onto with wet glue, but um, do as I say, not as I do. 
and then kind of that kind of brings it a little bit and then what you can do is bring it in put it with a paper clip in oh. there and then hold it there so that kind of creates that journal kind of element there so kind of do and do let me put i mean that's not going to be the best glue to do it so i'm just going to put a little bit of this is double-sided tape within the world's biggest gun yeah there. it's just so i don't i don't lose it there like kind of you can see how it's oh that's so pretty and that creates a little bit of a, uh, of an element and this is a, just a question of then using all the different paper clips in here uh, so, for instance, I'm going to grab another picture, for instance, of my uh, niece. So, what is it? There. Uh, so, for instance, well, this was on my parents. I'm going to show them. This is my mom. This is my, my mom and my dad, you Aww. know, so this is good. But I love these two pictures of her, like she was dancing on top of the bed and then of course she fell over. <laughs> so, one of the things that you can do when I was saying is I kind of put the paper clip there kind of hold it there and then you can do it gluing it down can you see what what it is so kind of figure it out so you're thinking that's the right way you can just make it like this you can put the different flaps there's different possibilities of attaching the um the hexagon one and then just kind of put a little bit of glue hold it there and it works as a photo corner holding the paper there here because mm. then you can take it out if you wanted to as well so you have got all these different elements then you can then bring in the other thing that it works really well with um oh, what is it um this the kind of the pattern here you can do random patterns and you can use it as a stencil as well so this is remember so you could bring it in oh yes and then kind of go in like this See, I kind of mixing and matching and I'm just, just doing a little bit of things in here. Just kind of bring in that softness here. And then add a little Ooh, bit of I pattern like that. there. Yeah. And this is a Japanese inspired pattern. Uh -huh. uh, I use uh, Japan, I love Japan. I mean, if you know anything about me, it's like I'm obsessed with the Japan uh, the patterns, but also see, look at it kind of, kind of works all the, but also I like kind of the arrows are kind of more Aztec, a little bit Afghan rugs as well. And this is kind of how you're kind of building it up. Didn't just kind of bring those pictures. Then you have, a, if you have gone for the complete collection again, you can use it with white mm. uh, and once you have them then of course you have them and you can die cut them as many times as you want to and I think it kind of frames it and then you can write in here as well but of course there, there is like this oh I like that it is kind of a bit of that and uh, this is how you can bring your memories as well. Now, if you don't like, I know a lot of people don't actually like to use pictures because they kind of think, well, they don't have. Uh, top tip, always black and white pictures, convert black and white pictures looks much better to yeah. use. That's a top tip. But also the other thing that I would say is also think about, um, Look at that, how gorgeous that looks there. Um, also think about just quotes. So you could print like little sentiments that you like. Yes. Uh, and also, to be honest, don't think about your pictures as they have to be perfect because that's the thing, it just, they don't. Memories are more important than perfection. And that could be a quote. That is a quote, <laughs> I think, yeah. I could write that on the bottom of the frame there. Yeah, but, but you can see, I like, I just love how it kind of builds it up. And then you can bring in more if you wanted to there, or kind of about this one. Oh, I like that one. I like those little dots. Um, Lovely botanicals there. So, see, exactly. So just mix and match bring it in and what I'm creating yes it is a little bit of a you know random journal but it doesn't you know you can make it really pretty it doesn't have to be all inky and distressed you can yeah. make it but look at that how Use all just, your favorite papers there absolutely mm. so you kind of build it up uh, so for instance uh, what else what else when we have? now I'm going to show you this one as well because we mentioned the flowers the geometric um, flowers, yes, we've still got a few of those, so uh, don't miss out. 
And that works. For, you've got that lovely frame there. Have you got, um, you know, the other one in the one day special there, Paul? I just saw it in your box. Would you mind just showing it us? Sorry. Um, you know that lovely, um, that lovely oh, one. Yeah. We haven't had a chance to see it. Um, just because I think that looks lovely with you. Oh, sh it's yeah. It's in the one day special. I know we've. Sorry, Katie. I know we're getting the geometric flowers on, but I, I just realised I haven't seen it this morning, and I just want to. Absolutely. We've seen this one, but this is in the one day special, and it's we're approaching fifty percent gone now. But um, Paula's just going to show us. It's just gorgeous, that's all. It made me think of the geometric flowers So well. this one works like this, oh, so of lovely. course. Now, if you wanted to make a card, so for instance, sh do you want me to do a card, a quick card with yes, this? Yes, why one? not? Yeah, yeah. yeah because I'm going I'm, I'm to show something else, but uh, oh, I can sorry. do this. I've, I've done, no, 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 that's, now. that's absolutely fine. Uh, now, Turn what I'm going to do... Well, no, but that's, that's, you know what, I have to say, I do apologize to everybody that because I'm being so scatty and nervous about this, um, this show that I haven't been, uh, what, what is it called? No, this die. Oh, there it is. Uh, I was like kind of looking in the wrong way. Uh, now, what do you want to do? If there are different ways of doing, of course, uh, things. Um, now, what I'm going to do is place this die here. Now, I have folded the card uh -huh. and I just have my... A scoring line over there and then you can go even and then place it like so can you see the scoring line is within the die it's not cutting it is no. there so i'm going to take some low tack tape and this is important because i will have to go twice i think through the die cutting machine at least to go through because this is uh, dolly dimples mixed media card which i think is 250 if I'm not mistaken. So I'm gonna secure it, I'm gonna run it through the die cutting machine a couple of times so it goes through both layers. And of course, these dies, I will mention it again, except for the large die in the one day special, the kind of the, the one that cuts the pages and the spine. Yeah. And the that one will, everything else will work through an A5 die cutting machine, but mm -hmm. that one need, requires an A4 die cutting machine. So I'm going to put it in here, uh, you can see there, so it has created a round, you can see it there. Beautiful card, yeah. There, there. and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take that one out, okay, and then I'm going to put this one in here, and then place it here, mm -hmm. and again, low tack tape, because it's that's, that's the the one thing that I always recommend to everybody, get low tack tape when you're die cutting, it's very, makes such a difference. And then I'm gonna run it through. Uh, and then run it through again. And then we are gonna put it there. Oh, sorry, this one I should have done it a couple of, I'm going to lock it in. Don't forget to check out your baskets because Angela has said she's watching on the Rewind. Obviously, you can from last night with the launch. So many sellouts. We've had a sellout again this morning. So this is the one day special with our lovely page panels and our mini journals there as well that you can add to, you can extend. And already there's so many possibilities. I mean, I'm, there's so many fantastic samples from the design team to just show you how many different possibilities they are. It just goes to show you the versatility. So please check out your baskets. I don't want you to miss out. £35.98, one zero. 0613. Paula's actually shown us one of the dies at the moment. So you can just do some lovely card making as well. You can. So you could place it like this or wow. look at that. So you can place it that one that I already pre-cut. So you could have the perfect match in here. Or you could then put as well um, preference as parchment if you wanted to. Ooh, but it makes yeah. yeah, because then you can then take this piece here and put parchment or acetate Ooh, here yeah uh, or you can then put your colors something oh shall i do the parchment oh yeah oh uh, god oh uh, let's let's what it, what, if i have the oh what is it i i was so organized and then i kind of like literally i put everything in bags but i could i oh i have got another way uh, another thing I can just put this one in here. Ooh, when you make all those backgrounds all Absolutely. you mop up all your bits. You pay attention, Fiona, you pay attention to, <laughs> to you can tell. I do, darling, I do. Ooh. Yeah, I do like that, something like this. There. Oh, that's lush. So I'm gonna put, place it like this. And again, this is the versatility. It's not just 
for um, journals. It's yeah. uh, so many uh, Christmas cards and something random, something different. And this is the thing, I was very nervous. One of the reasons is because it's it's different. It's not your traditional square or circles or hexagons. It's kind of random edges. There is no, it took me so long to set on these sizes and the angles, like trying to make sure that the angles were, they would allow you to, whichever way you put it together, it would make a, a kind of a nice pleasing to the eye. But see then you have this that will fit there. It and you can put it either side. You have a little bit of an extra element because of course we have cut within mm, with the, the escorting the edge. Card, yeah. So, but that's easy to make sure that you kind of, kind of change it in mm. there. Actually, shall I do it? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, I don't know now. I don't know if, if, if <laughs> I should put it, I think like this, glue it to the bottom. I'm yeah. gonna do it to glue it to the bottom just because I like the floatiness I like that ethereal nature of these um, botanical elements in here. And then what you can do, go in, take your trimmer, and then you take it over, and that's easier to do it from the back. Yeah. And that's just to account for the... The fact that we used the corner, yeah. we used the paper, didn't we? we the card, I should say. But I like that. That's of, beautiful. A gorgeous card. And then you can bring in, if you wanted to, Ooh. even those botanicals in yeah. there. You can bring, I know they have now sold out, but the arrows as well. Oh, yes, yeah. Uh, the arrows, where are they, the arrows? Have so many arrows here. But you can bring them in as well. Okay then you can see bring them in as well. But I'm just gonna leave it there. I'm gonna leave it like this. I'm gonna yeah. put a sentiment from uh, our um, Leonie Pujol um, sentiment collection. And then kind of thing, oh, I like this one. Uh, kinda, uh, I like this one. Surround yourself with people and then we are going to cut it who believe, who make you believe in you. Oh. And then what I'm going to do is I'm Absolutely. going to place it there here. Now you are thinking, but this is sticker. Don't you worry. There is a trick for them. Um, if you have gotten stickers like this yeah. and they're floating, yeah. uh, what you can do is, you know, the, um, the thing that you use to make sure that the embossing part, the antistatic. Oh, antistatic bag, yeah. yes, you brush that on the back then. You put that, the yeah, you take the stickiness from ah. that. Not that I have one with me, but you will. But that, I love this. Okay, so that will glue there. And that's an idea. And then you, what you do is you press down, make sure that you kind of glue there properly. And then, if not, if you don't have this, what all the things you can do is also, let me put this, just kind of color in with a little bit of, you know, with, yeah, you're and just that takes, take that you're just basically the taking the yeah. tackiness out of it. But then Beautiful. you have a little, and I think I would put this one like this. I like that. Hmm. Something like this. But then you can see, how you can create cards and they are kind of different absolutely cards as yeah, well. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful. Like I said, I think one of my favourites is this is this door. But here we go, we've got another one here. This the, the birthday card as, as, as well uh, from the dice. So don't just think that they are the journals or the books or the bundles. So uh, lots of versatility in this fantastic die set. Now, please don't miss out. It's proving very, 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 very popular. Um, you have got the nine journal page panels there which are these dies that uh, Paolo's just shown us with that, that lovely sort of Japanese influence. And then the paper clips there as well. And you've got these gorgeous pages there. And then we've got the, the original set there for the journal bundle there with your hinge and the extender hinge there as well. And then these lovely locking keys and some actual shapes there as well to add to the bookmaker. I mean, there's so many beautiful, beautiful samples here. Um, look at this, we'll recognize some of the, the lovely papers, whether you've got your lovely graphic 45 papers. It's just stunning because I like this as well, because that's more of a hardback one if you've got your MDF as well. Um, very sort of magical here. Again, look at the size of that, that 
spine there. It's extended, isn't it? Um, it could be a I love Powell's idea as well of the coloring book to, in you know, take use your stamps to, for them to color and put the little pages in there or take take them out. So much, so much versatility. Look at this, this, this Diddy little book. I love this. This is so cute. Look at this. Oh, the Diddy one. Isn't that, isn't that beautiful? Oh, I'm dropping. We've dropped. I've dropped a page out. Me Diddy one there. Isn't that beautiful? Just absolutely adorable. £35.98. Please check out your baskets. I don't want you to miss out. 100613. We've still got the botanicals at the bottom of the screen there. 9993871018. And I've still got a few of the um, geo flowers. My lovely Katie, you've deselected, but let's go back to Paola. <laughs> Right, so I was trying to I was trying to subtly kind of go like she's in the dis. I know you were trying, but it was going nowhere. I was like trying to, <laughs> I was like, you know, you know, it's all right. We could still hear you because you have got a she's loud and distance. clear voice. Yeah, she's just in the distance somewhere. It wasn't. Yeah, you're, you're not. Uh, yeah, at least there is that. Uh, yeah, uh, right. So what I wanted to show it was the geo flowers because uh, I just really love i'm quite pleased how they have turned out uh, and what i have done is so you have the dies you can see them here that one and that one and the geometric and you have also the smaller ones you have got two sets of the smaller ones and then you have got the dd ones as well as well to kind of put for the centers oh. or then you can bring in if you have gone for the botanicals as well you could place oh. them in here and create something like this Lovely. hopefully later on we will be doing more of that now in here, what you can do is place them over the top and you can see here how beautifully they look. But then this one fits Ooh. in here. So what we I'm gonna do, if I can find my, fo my phone tabs in here, my pocket tool. So also what it was very important to me was to have a solid center. Mm -hmm. So then I can put a foam pad in there then you kind of put it in here. That one goes in there. So, so it's simple. And then we are going to put another foam pad, foam pad, not tab, um, in there. And then we kind of put it in there. Oh, nice. And can you see how you have mm. that three-dimensional color in there? So you can then take it out one away. You don't need to. Your hand has a little bit. You can use them on their own. They kind of, you can then do them like this in the center. You can overlay them. You can just play, play, place them like this. So you have got all these different possibilities in there. And then, of course, once that you do this flower, you have got a really lovely element in here if you wanted to or kind of place it in here. You know, whatever you wanted to put, you oh, have got that six-pointed so element in there. Absolutely gorgeous. $9.99 for the Geo flowers. Here they are. You're getting 13 of those fantastic dies. I love the different ways of overlaying. That's such a gorgeous die, isn't it? And then you've got the little sort of smaller version of it as well there. 376309. So if you want that to complement the uh, one day special, then please don't miss out. Um, so many fantastic ideas. Angela, thank you for your email. Keep them coming. And we've got another show with our lovely Paola at 12 o'clock. Uh, we'll be talking about the one day special and seeing if we've got any of the other elements are still remaining. Uh, what Anything particularly you want to look at at the 12, the last hour at 12? Or no, are you want to get at four, are you darling? Yes, or, yes. I've lost four. track now. Yeah, <laughs> 12 and four. Well, it's just going to be more of, uh, hopefully it's putting more albums together, more of journals and just showing that, you know, you there is, there is really nothing wrong that you can do with this. It's up to you how you can uh, make it as big as you want it. Hopefully, we're you know, going to keep inspiring you on different ways of using it. Lovely. Thank you, Paola. Yeah, we will indeed, and we'll do that at 12 o'clock. Don't forget to check out your baskets because it is really flying off the shelves here, and we've already had some complete sellouts already this morning and last night, and over half the stock of the one-day special has already gone. So please check out your baskets. Enjoy. Hope you'll join us again at 12 for more fantastic ideas and she's already made an appearance but let's see what's coming up. <laughs> 